Hey fellow problem solvers, Colfax Math here. Today I was going to go over some word problems, decoding a pie chart in word problems for the ASVAB military entrance exam. These are just practice problems to give you an idea what some of those problems might look like. They might also be off a utilities exam, an apprenticeship entry exam, something like that. So let's go ahead and get started. I do have uh, a three-step process that I highly recommend you follow. Step one is you really need to identify what you want, what is the question actually asking you, what you have, what are the actual pieces that you're given, and then the third step after that is look at the answers really before you do a lot of calculations. You know, these are time tests so you don't have all that much time to work. So let's go ahead and read through this problem. Read the information, refer to the graph. Um, do not use a calculator. Work team XYZ has an estimated monthly budget. So monthly is important. We don't wanna make sure they're referring to years later. The work team's manager has a graph of the monthly expenses. I know it might be hard to see, it's right here. He has an estimated revenue of this. So that's his budget, 100,000. 500. So 500 is just really very little compared to the 100,000. So it's pretty close to 100,000, 40%, 5, 15, 10, and they all look like they add up to 100%. Okay, the first problem right here, how much money does work team XYZ spend each month on travel? So what do we want? The dollar amount on travel. I go up right here. I have this 5%. The total budget, remember, was $100,500. So what I want is the amount of dollars on travel. I have that right there. And then lastly, I'm going to look down at the answers. Well, 5% of $100,000 is about $5,000. It's going to be a little bit more, but not much more. I look down at my answers. There's only one answer that's even close to 5,000. I don't have to do all the multiplication or computation. I could see it has to be answer A right here. When I do these problems, what I recommend you do is have a notebook out and, and paper and pencil. Go ahead and do the problem, pause the video, do the problem, unpause it and then see how I do it. Okay, next problem. Uh, how much more does the team spend on salary and benefits than training? So this is kind of tricky, actually. You got to read this pretty carefully. So what do you want? You want to know the difference between training and salary and benefits. So salary and benefits is right here at 40%. Training is 30% or 10%. Then I want to know the difference between salary and benefits and training. So I'm going to do that 40% minus that 10% to give me 30%. So I want to... Step one is really identify what is it I want. I want the difference between this and this in dollars. So then on salary and benefits and training, so I want 30% of 100,000. I look down at my answers. I know it's gonna be close to $30,000. This one and this one aren't even close, so I cross them out. It has to be between one of these two. 30% of 100,000 is $30,000. 30% of 500, you know it's not going to be that much, right? 10% of 500 is 50, so it's going to be three times more than that, or 150. So I could see that this is the correct answer, answer D. Number 42, work team XYZ's manager wants to buy a new computer at a cost of $38,000. He will use the equipment budget to fund this purchase. How many months of equipment budget will he need to purchase the new computers. So now I need to know, what do I want? I wanna know the number of months. What do I have? Let me go back up here. And it is 10%. So 10% of that 100,000 is gonna be about 10,000 a month. And I got 38,000. So 10,000 for the first month, 10,000 for the second month, 20, 10,000 for the third, 30, 10,000 for the fourth, $40,000. So it's gonna take about four months to be able to buy that new computer equipment uh, when the budget is 10% of about $100,000. They deliberately made it just a little bit more than $100,000. 
so that you could do the numbers quickly in your head and not spend a lot of time doing calculations. Okay, here's another set of word problems right here. Uh, again, we got a three-step process. What is it you want? What is it that you have? And then look at the answers because they're multiple choice. See if you can eliminate ones that don't make sense. Go ahead and pause the video. Do this problem before I do it. Then I'm pause and watch how I do it. Read the time card and choose the best answer to each question. Do not use a calculator. So you know they're going to be pretty quick computations. Okay, 43. What does Dennis Jordan earn a day? So I'm looking for a day rate. I look down here at the time card. Pay rate, that's an hourly rate. Uh, net pay, gross pay, total hours, the hours he worked, deductions. So the best way to figure out what he earns in a day is if he works 40 hours a week, that's the standard week, he works eight hours a day. I'm gonna do eight times a little bit less than 20, right? Eight hours in a day, a little bit less than 20. 20 times 8 is 160, so it should be a little bit less than 160. Then I go to my answers. There's only one answer, a little bit less than 160, 159.20. There's my correct answer there, answer B. Okay, problem number 44. For this pay period, what percent of Dennis Jordan's gross pay, gross pay, so that's going to be the bottom of our denominator, was withheld for insurance and union dues. So the gross pay, I go up here. I'm going to round that up to $800. It's pretty close to $800. So I'm going to round that up. It's the total amount he makes is the gross pay. Net pay is how much he takes home. But it says what percent of the gross pay was withheld for insurance and union dues. Insurance down here is 75. Union dues right here 25. Not coincidentally, they add up pretty easily to 100 bucks. So together, the 75 and 25 add up to 100. So then the percent is going to be 100 over 800. That's an easy fraction to reduce. Those zeros will cancel. Those zeros will cancel. And then I'm left with 1 8 Well, I know a quarter is 25%, and an eighth is half of that. So if a quarter is 25%, an eighth is half of 25, half of 25 is 12 and a half, or 12 and a half percent. I look at my answers, the only one that's even close is 12.6. It's a teeny bit off because I rounded to the 800. That's my correct answer there, answer C. Again, this is a no calculator test, so there's gotta be a trick. I mean, you know these two things are gonna add up to pretty easy numbers, so you can do it pretty quickly in your head. Okay, number 45, what percent of Dennis Jordan's gross pay did he take home this week? So what is it we want? We want a percentage. What did he take home over the total? What he takes home is called net pay. So we want to know his net pay, 436, over his gross pay. Right? So what percent did he take home out of the total? Again, I rounded this up to 800. I'm actually going to round this down to 400. But it's a pretty big rounding there, but I think it's going to show itself that it's going to only be one possibility. These zeros cancel with these zeros. 4 over 8 is about, plus or minus, about a half. A half is 50%. But I rounded this down quite a bit, so it's got to be a little bit more than 50%. Only one answer right there that's close to 50%. Answer A. 55% right there. Okay, 46 right here. Actually, before I do 46, I'll call this the last problem. If you're new to the channel, think about subscribing, sharing this with anybody you know who might be taking a standardized math exam. If you hit that like button, uh, it really helps build the channel and gets this information out to people who might need it for a standardized math test. Okay, 46. Next week, Dennis will take an unpaid day. What will his gross pay be for 32 hours if he is paid at the same rate as shown on the timesheet? Well, if you remember the first one on a timesheet, we figured out his daily rate. His daily rate was 160, right? Again, that was approximation. It was like 1960 an hour. We rounded up to 20 bucks an hour. 20 times eight hours is 160. His gross pay is 800 or 160 times five. So if he only works four days instead of five, we're going to do 800, again, the gross pay, 800 
minus the day pay of 160, and that's about 640. Again, that's an approximation, but I'm gonna look down at my answers and see which one's close. It's a little close, but not really 640. No, no, 640 right there, right? It's a couple of bucks off of 640. Correct answer, answer A. All right, well, thank you for watching. Any questions, please post them in the comments. And remember, it's a three-step process. Identify in the problem what it is you want, what is it that you have, and if it's multiple choice, look down at the answers and see if any of them make sense, or if none of them make sense, cross out the ones that don't make sense. All right, well, I sure hope this helped. Thank you for watching.